right, Libra, welcome to your past life karmic lesson. And please take note that this is a general reading, so it might resonate to you. It might. Okay. Let's take a look. What are the things that you still need to finish off from the past? I mean, from your past life and fulfill in the present. All right. All right, let's take a look. Crime writer, father, wars and battles, orphan. Oh. Forgiveness, spirituality and religion, high priest or priestess, Egypt, angels. All right, Libra. Okay, you used to be a writer in your past life, and I feel like you've had some problems or issues with your father because your father abandoned you, and he left you at an orphanage, okay? Uh, I feel like your father used to be a, uh, a war hero or a soldier, and uh, I feel like the reason why he left you there is because he cannot really take you wherever he's, he needs to go. And then you've had as a you small you you you, you used to live in a small farm, okay, and um, you're very close to animals and natures, and you do have some talents in healing or being an herbalist or something like that. And I feel like you do practice uh, metaphysics in the past, okay. Either you were a witch, a white witch, dark witch, or something like that, and. Uh, you were born in Egypt, well, you know, in Egypt, the, uh, what do you call this, the, um, the, in fact, the alchemy actually started in Egypt, okay, or right in the Middle East, and, uh, you were, for, you were born as a male and female, so either you're a bisexual at this point, or you do have some mas more masculine if you're a woman, or you are more feminine if you're a woman, sorry, if you're a man. And you're actually guided. You're very religious, but you need to forgive. Okay, you do carry grudges right within you And I feel like um, You've been keeping that anguish and pain from somebody in your family member Oh For somebody in your family member For quite a long period of time. You need to let go of that. Okay And you do have some talents in music and arts when you move, because you love, uh, you love, um, what do you call this? You love uh, traveling, okay? When you move, you were actually caught as a witch and uh, you were, uh, let's say, you're prosecuted, okay? You know those old times when what they do to, to witches? They hang them and burn them alive, or they tie them right in the middle of the city or in a, you know, the field or something like that. And they burned them alive. Now, what happened to you was you were very, it's like you grew up with so much hatred towards your father or towards, or towards some old male counterparts, okay? But the thing that you need to understand is the reason why your father left you is because he cannot really carry you or take you with him wherever he is going because he needs to fight for the country or he needs to fight for your own city or town. But you never really understood that because he never really made it back to you. And all you know is that he just abandoned you, walked away from you, then that's it. That's why you feel unwanted. Okay, That's why right now, even in this past life, you were so... It's like you're very frisky or you just wanted to move away from your family you feel like you don't really belong there you feel like there's something inside of you that you know that is more likely that's the place that's been calling you or you it's like you are the wrong shape at the wrong hole okay you feel like that's not the right family for you that's not the right place for you that's not the right country for you in wherever you are or wherever you're born you feel like that's not right you feel like you're you're supposed to be in this country you're supposed to be in this place 
Now, the reason for that is because you have that deep avoidance inside of you, okay? And you're always longing for the love of father or for the paternal father. Sorry, paternal love, okay? Or like a father figure, all right? So, this is the reason why sometimes you're having a hard time being in a relationship. And you always, if you're a woman, okay, single woman, you always um, go for some older men, okay, to be in a relationship with. And I feel like you're always lo longing for that comfort, for somebody to take care of you and for somebody to look after you, okay? Even if, you know, even if, um, even if you have both of your parents right now, most of the time you feel so alone. You feel like there's a different comfort that you're looking for outside of your own family right now. So that is exactly what's happening right now, all right? Man or a woman, okay? This is a general reading. So if you're a man that's listening to this, then just, you know, just uh, put yourself into this into the uh, situation or reading, okay? Because it's, sometimes it's so hard to define it's a man or a woman, it's a he or she, you know? So it depends. It is a, this is a general reading, so it's up to you to apply it to yourself. Now let's take a look. What are the things that you need to learn when it comes to love and when it comes to in your general aspect? You know, what you need to... You're also very, um, the thing about you is you're also very sensitive, you're very defensive, paranoid, and you feel like everyone is out there to either isolate you, take advantage of you, hurt you, or do something behind you. It is because that, you know, somebody had made you a promise, or somebody have deceived you, and they never really, you know, it's like you never seen them back again. And this is the reason why you don't trust people. You always feel like people are out there to hurt you, to betray you. Even your own family, you feel like they're just setting you up for something. Your family is up against you. Your sister is doing something against you or something like that. You never really trusted anybody. And that's the problem. Okay? Now here... Let's take a look what are the things that you need to learn when it comes to love. Okay, now you'll find you'll be finding the uh, your true love in the form of a new love. All right, it's not somebody from the past. Healing family issues. He okay. sees th this is the thing that um, that you really have to um, finish up, or, or that you need to close down. Okay, because I feel like right now you're also having some problems with your own family. You feel like even your own family members are betraying you. Even your own mother, father, siblings, children, godchildren, grandchildren. You're always paranoid that people are doing something right behind you even though they don't really care. You know, I mean, not really care as in they don't care about you, but it's like they're just simply minding their own lives and their own business. But for you, every time that they hiss, every time that they talk, every time that they gather, you feel like you're, they're talking about you, they're planning against you, or, you know, somebody in your family is stealing whatever you have, or they're very envious of you, which is, you know, in most cases, it's not. It's just in your head. Because you don't know how to trust anymore. And you're so afraid of giving yourself to those people that you're supposed to be counting on. Just like what your father have done to you in your past life. Now, I'm not trying to say that in this past life, you also have some issues with your father. Some Libras are very close to their father. But what I'm trying to say is that somebody hurt you in the past. That's why you are so unable to trust once again. Okay? Some Libras are very close to their father and they're like a papa's girl or papa's boy, you know. 
So I'm not saying that all Librans are, have some issues with your with, with their fathers, but what I'm trying to say is that somebody have deceived you, somebody that you love the most, somebody is very close to your heart who have actually betrayed you, and you never get the chance to learn how to forgive. And not to mention that you have studied or you have learned the art of black magic or become a witch out of that hate. And one more thing is that you were burned alive, okay, in your past life because people found out that you're a witch. This is another thing, okay, that you were punished for something that is supposedly not really a crime. But people have punished you. Alright? So there are a lot of loopholes. There are a lot of miscommunications. In fact, I can see a lot of a lot of explanations and a lot of stories, a lot of things that's in this, you know, very short spread of cards, but uh, we only have little time. Okay? And uh, don't rush into anything. Don't rush into going for somebody who will love you. And don't it's like don't love somebody because you need them need somebody because you love them all right and then the person that's going to be coming your way is worth waiting for it doesn't matter the quantity has nothing to do with the quality even if you wait for a long period of time as long as that person is worthy of your time and worthy of your effort so be it and you need to love yourself first okay the love that you have missed and the love that wasn't given to you in the past, in your past life, you're the one who should give it to yourself. Don't look for that kind of love to someone else's personality or someone else's characteristics or something like that. Okay? And you were born with a different kind of uh, religion. Or you're different from any other kind. Either you're a, you're a Wiccan or you're a different you're a, of a different religion. Okay, you're different from the normal religions around, and you have to learn how to communicate. You need to learn how to voice out yourself, how to express yourself, how to you know let out whatever that's inside your mind inside, instead of voicing out your fears. Most of the time, you always accuse people. You always think of the worst. You're very negative. You're very paranoid, and it's like you're very okay. You're a good friend. You're very jolly. You love having a lot of fun, you joke around, you're funny, and that's the light side of you. But the bad side or the negative side of you, that's the thing. Okay, that is what I'm trying to say. And the codependency, as I've said, love someone because you need them. I'm oh, sorry, need somebody because you love them. Okay? And give people a chance to be a part of your life. Don't push them away. You have some similarities with Virgo. And keep an open mind. You're very defensive, you're paranoid, and you always think that people are out there to hurt you. Let your friends help you. Have some healthy friends around you who will be giving you sound advices and who will be giving you very good company. And the, uh, your true love will come in the form of new love. Okay, And you will be loving this person very deep and with all your soul. And I feel like this person will also not betray you. But there is a possibility that you might end up with someone in a very short span of life. Okay? So, let's take a look at your general cards. What are the things that you still need to remind yourself of? Of the things that you need to fulfill. Let's take a look. Ooh. 
you need to think long and hard about your actions, about the things that you say. You're very capable of loving unconditionally. In fact, that you're supposed to be a good friend, but then the problem with you is you tend to become indecisive and greedy. Okay, this is also something that you need to learn to yourself. Now, the thing that also destroys you or destructs you is the relationship. Because in a relationship, you expect them to read your mind. You expect them to be molded upon your requirements and how you want them to be and not for who they really are. And this is where your downfall comes from. You need to love and accept them for who they are and don't change people. Don't change a person. Don't change for who they are just, because, just for you to accept them. All right. Now you need to also reflect in your own actions if whatever you're thinking, doing, and throwing or reciprocating a right to the actions of the other person or other people. And don't live in fear. Okay, stop being so defensive, stop being so paranoid. Not all people are, sorry, not all people are going to be attacking you and will be like spearing you. Okay, open up your heart, open up your mind, open up your eyes. There are a lot of people who loves you, who will love you, who cares a lot for you. You are the one who's just pushing them away because of your fear. And you love traveling, but I feel like you also need to have some family healing. Forgive your family or for your family member to forgive you because of the things that you have accused them in the past. Or the things that you have, you know, think of them negatively. That is how you can live in peace. Now, I also feel like you are, you're apt to live far from your family or to always wander away from your family you're happy when you're being on your own but you also codepend to other people okay i feel like it's time for you to create your own foundation this year especially around 2019 it's time for you to start having a foundation stay in one place and find yourself where you really belong because you are going to be finding your home your way home I mean, as in home, like, you know, like where you really belong, your calling, not your literal home. Okay. This is, you know, this is also the year where you're going to be finding your soul calling. And you also need to leave some people behind that are not really very good influences to you. One, you're, you know, you have the traits of a Taurian and you also have the traits of a Virgo. Virgo and Libra, you are both walled up. And you do cut off people, you know. It's like it's so hard for you to let go of somebody. It's also hard for you to forgive. Okay? Because you expect people to understand your shortcomings. But not all people have the tolerance. Okay? Now, you need to be a little bit more perceptive. And uh, have an open mind. I also feel like you need to have a little faith in your heart, in your mind, and in your life. Okay, whatever your religion is, I feel like you will always stand with whatever you believe and, uh, you know, and uh, will always have a different kind of a religion among others. Uh, it's, it's something like it's not really a regular religion. But whatever your belief is, have some faith, especially in humanity. Okay, it's not yet too late for you to restore that. It's not yet too late for you to change whatever. Don't let your zodiac sign define you. You are who you are. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this time. Libra, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls or offer pre-recorded video readings, go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.